Hello there, and a very warm welcome to the France Buying Guides YouTube presentation. Well, you know, I've always found that shared experiences count for a great deal, so this week I've prepared for you my own short top tips for what to be aware of generally before, during and after your French property purchase. Well, firstly, a little homework at the start will save you time and give you confidence and allow you to achieve, achieve what you really want in France. So, read as much as you possibly can about your chosen area or areas. They all have their own different characteristics and you need to be sure you know about these before you commit yourself to a purchase. You could be helped by taking a copy of my France Buying Guide. There are details on the website here of how to get that. It covers every aspect of buying in France and you'll definitely be set on your way by getting a copy if you haven't already done so. Remember that house hunting also is quite hard work, although it can be very enjoyable. It took me, oh, I would say at least three longish trips to France before I found my first property there. So don't set your heart on just one property that you may have found on the internet before you go. You need to go to France and just see that and several others. Thirdly, give yourself enough time. Um, I remember very well booking a five-day trip at the start of my first property search in France, fully expecting to find my dream property, and I didn't. Um, five days isn't really all that long, and remember that a lot of properties will be situated quite far from each other in rural France. So start out not expecting to fall in love with the first property you, you see, and just give yourself time off as well. You'll need a break from days of looking at properties, and then you're far more likely to find just what you're looking for when you're more relaxed. Um, the fourth thing is glean as much as you can about local knowledge. When I bought my first house, um, I had a lovely agent who spent a whole day driving me around the area and we became friends and we are still friends to this day. Secondly, following on from that as well, remember that you might as well practice your French even if you think it's a little bit rusty. The French love to hear English people speak their language with, um, with an English accent. It's as attractive as it is the other way around. So don't be shy. A um, very important point too is to employ the services of a bilingual solicitor when you do go into a property, not only to translate the paperwork, but to explain it all to you. It really is money well spent because obviously buying any property is a serious business and you need to know that everything proceeds smoothly and that you're protected on all levels. Again, I've said this before, but that certainly merits a mention here, is to make friends with your local mayor. The local mayor in France has a fair bit of power and to get him or her on your side at the start is always a good option. I invited our local mayor for a little aperitif when I bought my first house and I remember that she actually then invited me to a music um, concert at our local church and where I also made other friends. So one thing can lead to another uh, and popping into your local mayor at the outset is always a good plan in France. Next, remember to shop locally. Although you'll obviously find large supermarkets, it's a nice thing to su support your local community, go to your local shops and markets. It's also a good way to make friends and acquaintances. There's much more community spirit you'll find in France, and you'll be wise to embrace this fully at the outset. Um, following on again from that, um, be willing to integrate totally into the French way of life. You'll be much happier um, doing things their way than constantly trying to compare and recreate perhaps something that was similar in the UK. Um, you know the expression joie de vivre uh, is very well known and you'll find that in bucket loads if you are prepared to settle in and do as the other folk do. And finally remember to enjoy the whole process and there may well be days when you're not sure if you're doing the right thing or feeling that you'll never find perhaps exactly the right property but be patient, enjoy the journey and uh, remember that you're in France, it's a friendly country, um, just go with it. So that's it for this week. Do please send me your questions and if you'd like any help, call our office here. In the meantime, I wish you an excellent week and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.